and good afternoon everyone. Today I'm gonna be filming a get ready with me for work while I discuss and overshare things because I just love talking as we've established. I just got home from school. Technically supposed to be at school right now. Our first topic of discussion. I'm truant. <laughs> That's not funny. It'll all work out in the end. Como se dice. Um, I was supposed to graduate at semester. I feel like I've mentioned this in every video. I did not because depression took over and I didn't finish some of my online coursework that I was supposed to do. Because of that, I was placed in credit recovery for the second semester until I finished my online classes, which I have now finished. Since I took quite some time to finish the classes, they were like, all right, um, we're gonna place you in the normal classes. So while you do the online ones, just so that the state has a record of you being in a class so you don't look like you're like just not on track to graduate and i was like oh word not gonna go <laughs> i finished the online class i just have to um like wait for the online people to send my school the credits which i already got switched out of one class that's fine but the second class i they still need to send it which i finished already it's all good and then i only have to stay for english the second semester of english and then i'm done which means i have to sit in a room all day and do nothing so why am I even at school? It is required for me to stay at school a certain amount of hours, but I have a job to get to. School doesn't end till 4, 10. My job, I'm supposed to be there, it's 30 minutes away. I'm supposed to be there at 4, so um, not going. Anyway, um, I know you're probably like, how are you not stressed about this? Put on some moisturizer now. I've been using Curology and I think it's been helping my skin a bit. I don't know, if you check back at my old videos, it was like really, really bad. Not my old videos, but like the last couple of videos I posted. It's getting a lot better. I've also been taking like supplements and stuff to like heal my gut inner. I've been waking up at like 5.30 in the morning, which is kind of ironic because I have more energy than ever. But it's also because I've been going to bed at like 9.30 every night. I think I'm going to film a video just like a 5.30 a.m. morning routine. That sounds kind of cool. That's what my life has entailed of recently. I've been filming for five minutes and haven't even started my makeup. This is actually so bad. Oh, I have a pimp. <laughs> Changing a lot recently. I feel like I've become a lot more positive. Started to become more confident in myself. Just like love myself more in general, which is fucking amazing I used to continue to make excuses for myself and why my life was the way it was say for example i wanted to start posting on youtube more but i would be like no i don't have time blah, blah, blah. or like i don't know what to post anymore I feel like i can't do it i realized i can film a video anytime any day but it's just all i have to do is sit in front of a camera and talk i really want to do it i can do it Ugh, i don't really like the way that applies with the brush i might have to put it on again but with the beauty blender layer number two i might change my shirt now that i think about it i've been listening to this book called change your life change your paradigm on audible it's really a book it's more just like a like a guy asking bob proctor questions and um i highly recommend it i'm gonna change my shirt real quick new outfit these are the shoes Back to my makeup, but yeah, I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks and like self-help stuff lately. Like media that you consume, I 100% believe backs how you feel. If you are only consuming TikTok for you pages of those like sad audios, then you will only feel sad. And I believe that 1000% because I experienced it. Like that was like my TikTok for you page and I created a new account to see health and like wellness and stuff. I can't full on delete TikTok. I know myself and I know that would not last whatsoever. Just like a random like burner account. Change the for you page because no matter how much i tried doing not interested all this stuff like it was just embedded in my feed this new account is like all like health and wellness and blah 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 and i've actually learned a lot i've learned like what good supplements are to take like what greens you can take in the morning to like in a smoothie just like recipes and stuff that you can make for yourself i don't know what to cook for myself you know what i mean yeah that's like a one small thing you can do to like change your mental health and become a lot happier change it for you page if you don't use tiktok then just change in general the media that you're consuming and consume good media because social media gets a really bad rep but it's only because if something makes you feel sad or if something bring down brings down like your vibes and your vibrations and stuff stop consuming it stop watching it don't partake in that field of stuff because obviously if it makes you feel sad, I don't know, people are very comfortable with sadness. So sometimes the funny TikToks are relatable and you want to keep watching them because they're funny to you and they're relatable, but they're not what's best for your mental health, if that makes sense. Um, another thing that I've been doing a lot is I got this journal. Let me grab it in a second. That helps me track what I'm eating and like my moods throughout the day. What positive things I'm doing for myself. Just to make sure that at least every day eating enough, doing a bunch of stuff to like better myself as a person. Even if it's small things because a little bit goes a long way and... 
if you do a week of doing small good things for yourself every day versus a week of doing nothing for yourself, you're obviously going to be a lot farther. These are my journals. Um, this one first is just like a manifestation journal, right? Like affirmations on things that I'm grateful for, just like gratitude and stuff like that. And then this one, self-care, a day and night reflection journal. Just write down what I ate for the day. This was yesterday's. So let me show you. Um, breakfast, rice cake, peanut butter, and banana, a chicken sandwich, greens, peanut butter pretzels, a charged lemonade from Panera. And then other activities I did, journaling, social time, meditation, spiritual practice, spa day, alone time being silly, listening to music, cleaning, cooking, stuff like that. Um, that was my day yesterday. One, I'm eating better. I'm eating enough, which uh, somebody who has an eating disorder, I've like struggled with eating enough in the past. Food is good for your body. So have self-love. And also, I'm a big believer in no matter what you look like, your perception of yourself is 1,000% based on how you speak to yourself. Even whenever I was not the cutest, um, even whenever I looked like that, hated the way I looked on the inside, like deep down, I just hated the way I looked. I still spoke to myself very kindly. I, I still tried my hardest to speak to myself kindly and to tell myself, like look in a mirror every day, like I am beautiful, I am amazing. And it has manifested, you know what I mean? Not that I'm like hot shit or anything, but I am conventionally attractive. And I think I, I like to think that I am pretty. Um, if you don't think I'm pretty, keep it to yourself because I don't want your bad vibes affecting me. So it like over time, it just manifests. So always speak to yourself kindly. If you tell yourself you're stupid, then that's how other people are going to view you. But if you tell yourself that you're smart, then other people are going to view you as smart. Same thing with pretty, same thing with outgoing, same thing with funny, like everything. You, you create your own reality. And if you want your reality to be that you are ugly, annoying, and just not Cool, man. And that's what your reality is going to be because that's what you believe. Anyway, I'm going to 5.30 a.m. Pilates class. Can we talk about that? Who am I? I'm trying to become the best version of myself. And I was like, how do I want to become the best version of myself when I keep making excuses for all of the things I want to do? Like, oh, I want to go to Pilates every day. Oh, but it's too early. I have school still. I'll just go in the summer. But what the fuck? Why don't, why don't I just start now, huh? There's people who get up at 3 and 30 in the morning to go to the gym. It's only 5.30, you can do it. Be there at 6, come home at 7. You have an hour to get, an hour and 30 minutes to get ready. You can eat your breakfast in first period because it's just credit recovery. And if anything, um, tomorrow actually I have detention for skipping. I promise I'm not a bad student whatsoever. I'm not disrespectful at all. I just like can't go to the class. So I literally have work. I actually asked a bunch of people like my friends if they could take my shift today i asked two people because i know everybody else was busy but i asked two people if they could take my shift today and they couldn't so that means i have to go into work and that means that i will not be at school oh, i should have just graduated early i don't know why i let my mental health affect me so much that's the one thing with me is that i hate not that i hate i don't want to use that word i wish i could do better on whenever my mental state declines i stop doing any responsibilities that i have in my life and it sucks because it's got me to a place where one i have to do community college for a year before applying to any school that i actually want to go to because freshman and sophomore year was severely depressed um i ended up dropping like out and doing online school for a bit because i hated it just going to school, I would go to school and cry every single day. Barely had any friends. I had like two friends, didn't have any classes with them. I just felt so like gross and alone at school. Just the vibes were so negative. I posted a video like my last day of public school. Next semester, because of the fact that I was so depressed, I wasn't doing any of my work in online school. I was forced to go back the next semester. I couldn't just be true. I wasn't doing any of my work. I had to go to a physical school to keep me accountable. And my grades were doing a lot better then because my mental health was increasing. And COVID came around and my mental health declined again because i'm a very social person like i need people around me or at least i used to thrived off of positive atmospheres and a lot of friends and just like people around me made me feel happy i i, I put my happiness a lot into other people that's something that i've grown a lot is that i've grown to be happy alone and by myself whether or not i have cool friends whether or not i have a guy a boyfriend anything like that i've just learned to like slay on my own i think everybody needs to learn that truly speaking you have your family yes you have your friends yes you may have your partner whatever whoever you have in your life but at the end of the day if you're not happy on your own then you are not truly happy 
you are depending on somebody else for happiness and that's never gonna get you anywhere. I've learned a lot since in my life and I, I'm also really great for my parents because they're very much like vibe people. My dad taught me about the law of attraction in like eighth grade. Going along with you only ever have yourself, truly prioritize yourself. Don't let anyone tell you that it's selfish to want things. For example, in a relationship, don't let anyone tell you that it's like bad to, for example, want the guy to pay for you if you're a girl. Somebody to open the door for you or something like that. Like, don't allow anyone to tell you that it's selfish or wrong or entitled to want those things because those are your standards. They don't have to cater to that, you know? If they want you, they're gonna have to do that because those are the standards, those are the baseline things that you have. And that's it, ladies. Fun fact, guys. Um, I used to talk about the law of attraction and like vibes and shit and vibrations in like eighth grade all the time. And everybody called me stupid for it. But now look at me, all right? There are a lot of things in my life where it's like, you know, I wish I could have done that differently. I choose not to live in regret. So while yes, I wish I would have focused more on school and bettered my mental health, my grades would have been better applied to schools earlier on and not, ha not had to go to community college, which I could go to Pace, but... I don't know, I don't really want to go there. I could have done all these things differently, yes. Past is in the past, and I have this like motto, don't focus on things that you can't change. If something has happened in your life and you don't like it, how can you change it? And if there's nothing you can do to change it, don't focus on it, don't dwell on it, because that's just negative energy that you're holding onto that's not gonna take you anywhere. If you guys want like an in-depth makeup routine, let me know. Talk, get ready with me while I overshare. Not like a, here's my makeup routine. I'm gonna use, Renaissance palette. I use this is like the only palette I use. The food that you put in your body 1000% affects your mindset and like the way you feel on the inside and outside. I can 100% tell you while I was losing weight but I wasn't eating a substantial amount and I wasn't eating things when I was eating that were good for me. You could just like tell like I my energy was super low. I was sleeping all day i hated going to work just because like i hated having to stand for hours at a time now today's a great day i have an amazing time ahead of me might sound like false positivity this is just lying to like get some views or whatever but like genuinely speaking i have absolutely no complaints going into work right now i have no complaints doing anything living my life peacefully happily i don't think i've ever been how do i say this this definitely isn't like a point in my life that's super like changing and there's like go good things going on for me or like good opportunities or anything like this is just my life it's completely normal the only thing that has changed recently is my mindset it's like the way that you view your life and the way that you view yourself and your mindset going into things is 100 what's going to dictate your reality if i were to sit here and be like oh i'm so tired i don't want to go to work today's gonna be shit like i just want to come home already like staring at the clock the time's gonna go by way slower than it usually would you don't want to be there and you just want to go home and what you want is not what's going on in the reality take longer for what you want to get there because you're focusing on the negative i'm almost done with my makeup i think i feel like once you start one day to another you can completely change your life and completely have a different mindset on things because just because you're telling yourself differently it's just it takes time for you to actually fully commit to doing it i've been saying for years that like i want to get better and that i want to better my mindset and that i want to be happier and just live a better life. From one day to another, I was just like, you know what? I'm sick of this. I'm sick of always depending on people for my own happiness. I'm sick of um, always feeling like I'm the underdog to everyone else. I'm sick of just like hating my life because I have nothing to hate about my life. I, I may have my battles with mental illness and stuff, but I understand that anybody would want to be in like my position. The life that I have been granted. <laughs> I'm extremely grateful for. You know when you can kind of feel like your throat's about to start hurting? I feel like tomorrow I'm gonna wake up with like a sore throat and I'm so upset or like a stuffy nose. I kind of want to get a charged lemonade at Panera. Anyway, I have to fix my hair now. Dang. Yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.